Hello YouTubers, YouTubies. Um, this is Snugglepuss and um, I'm just going to be talking about my updated perfume collection today. Um, just pretty much these ones right up front. Um, if you want to see some of the other perfumes in the back, you can check out my first video. Um, and we're just going to jump right in. Uh, the first one I'll be talking about is Lolita Lempica. Okay, Lolita Lempica has exotic licorice, uh, vanilla, light greens, florals, and musk. Now, I wanted to love this. I wanted to love it so bad because the, the bigger version, like the 1.7s and up, the bottle is just so pretty and beautiful. This bottle is cute too, but um, the actual large size, it's such a beautiful bottle and I felt like it would be a nice addition to my collection, but I just can't. This smells like hairspray to me. That's it, just hairspray. I wanted to like it. I struggled just trying to even use this this little portion and I, I just couldn't do it. So I won't be um, purchasing the larger um, bottle of this and it's such a shame because I really wanted to have Lolita Lambica in my collection. <laughs> Put that back over there. All right, next we have Pink Sugar, Aqualina Pink Sugar. And if I, everybody knows what Aqualina Pink Sugar is. It smells great. Um, for me, it's a little bit too light. I think I'm gonna go with the other one, the sensual one. Um, this has vanilla caramel, bergamot, Sicilian orange, fig leaves, lily of the valley, and red fruits. I don't know about all that other stuff, but all I smell in this is vanilla and caramel. That's it, vanilla, caramel. But it is nice. This is the one ounce I've used quite a bit, but I definitely wouldn't buy another bottle of this. Um, I'll probably do the sensual and because um, I think that's a little bit more heavier. I like my scents to be pretty heavy. All right, this is the Burberry Brit right here. Burberry Brit uh, Ete Toilette, not the Ete Parfum. I need to get the parfum in my life. Um, this has green lemon, frosted pear, white almond, uh, white peony, vanilla, amber, and tonka bean. And as you can see, I just drank this little mini. This is a little mini, I just drank it right up. It's, it smells so divine, but Again, I need it to be a little stronger and I need it to last longer, okay? But this is a great scent, okay? Next, we have Midnight Fantasy, very popular YouTube uh, perfume. Like every, I think everybody has this in their collection, um, the original with one, which is in a hot pink bottle. Um, this one has from Bros, um, Black Cherry Plum Night Orchid, Freesia, Iris, um, Vanilla, Amber. Oh, I'm sorry. Freesia, Iris, Amber, Musk, and Vanilla. Now, this bottle was mostly the allure for me. Um, I've had to use a lot. Look at all of that. I've had to use a lot. I spray this on very heavily because it's just not thick enough for me. I don't know. Um, it's a pretty scent and I probably won't buy it again. But I do like the bottle and it, it does smell pretty. Um, okay, this next one here is Encanto Bliss by Salvador Ferragamo. Um, it's another little mini. This has yuzu, kumquat, apple, freesia, um, lotus, rose, musk, and woody accords. Now, if anyone has ever smelled haiku, Haiku by Avon. If you ever smell Haiku by Avon, this is pretty much what this smells like to me, in my opinion. Um, it's nothing special. I wouldn't purchase it in a larger size. And I actually, I do want to try some of the other Encanto flavors, but this just, you know, it doesn't really do it for me. But it, it doesn't smell bad. It smells like Haiku if you ever smelled Haiku. All right. And then we have this little baby. This is... Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Um, 
it's the purse. It's like the travel purse size. Um, let's see. This has bergamot, leche, and peach, jasmine, lily of the valley, white lily, plum, vetiver root, amber, musk, and vanilla. And when I first smelled this, like I just smelled the little nozzle to see if I could, you know, smell the scent before I put it on. And it just smelled like clay to me. And I'm like, oh my God, why did I buy this? But um, actually, after I wore it and, you know, let it dry on my skin, it was, it was so beautiful. So I thank all you YouTubers and YouTubees that suggested this one because this is, it's a really nice one. And I find that the... Um, the designer perfumes, you know, hold a little better than, you know, the celebrity ones, um, I guess, because they're a little bit more expensive and they have more essential oils in them. But I really enjoy this one. So I probably will make this, you know, one of my top 10. Um, this is Eternity uh, by Calvin Klein. You know, you can see that it's getting a little blurry. Um, this has notes of green, green notes, citrus, lily of the valley, carnation, halo trope, pink sandalwood, and musky notes. Now, I like the dry down on this. The dry down on this is beautiful and it lasts forever. But it's a very professional smell to me. Like, it's not something I want to wear every day. Um, just more so when I'm in a professional setting. But I wouldn't probably repurchase like a larger size of this like once this is done it's done but it is a nice scent okay okay next is Paris Hilton Paris Hilton just the original Paris Hilton um I have to admit I am a impulse what do you call those buyers uh you know I'll just buy something that I'll see and I've never smelled this has a lot of reviews on YouTube. Um, it has jasmine, fresha, lily, tumorose, mimose, lily of the valley, ying lang or lang lang, um, sandalwood, musk, and oak moss. It's a pretty smell. However, it smells so familiar that I don't even want to put this on my skin. I'll probably um, give this away because I have... It smells like somebody I know and someone I just don't even like, but it's just too familiar for me that I can't even wear it. But it is a pretty smell. Um, I kind of like to go in the store and gamble, you know, <laughs> on perfumes and just, you know, maybe look up their notes and see if, you know, I like it. Um, that's kind of what I did with this. It was an impulse buy. This is the Usher. I like the, the way this spins. I like the way that spins. It's really cute. Um, if you smell this, um, it kind of smells like beer, like from the nozzle. It just kind of smells like beer. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but this is for a celebrity perfume. It's not that bad. This is the She by Usher for women. It has Caribbean for Gabani. I can't pronounce that. Caribbean frangapani fruit, apricot, jasmine, rose, amber, sensual musk, vanilla, incense, and cashmere. And um, I've only worn it about twice, but I've enjoyed it so far. But it doesn't last as long. Like, I really want my perfumes to last all day. Even the next day, I want to wake up smelling like, you know, my perfume. And I only get about a few hours out of this. Even though this is a Ete Parfum, this is a 1.7 ounce. But um, I think this little spinny thing is just too cute. But um, I, you know, I like the bottle. I probably wouldn't repurchase this, but I bought this for $10 at Marshall's. So I just couldn't resist. I thought that was a great deal for 1.7. Um, so that's about it. Um, these are the new ones to my collection. I'll probably be getting more um designer fragrances soon um uh, just give you the overview of my full collection i'm working on getting my top 10 that's what i'm working on and so far i've got my top five let's see armani code katie perry lover dose by diesel this is michael kors it's just the lotion the original michael kors um lola by mark jacobs 
I'll definitely make Dolce & Gabbana the one, uh, one of my tops. And um, the rest of them we'll have to stay tuned for. Um, so that's about it. I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave them down below. Um, if I haven't thanked my subscribers, thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm sorry I don't do any like extra graphics with my videos or anything. This is my second video. I'm kind of still learning the ropes. Um, I'm not a perfume expert or anything. I just I really love scents and some scents, you know, you're having a bad day. You can just pick something up and, you know, it will really lift your spirits. And, you know, I enjoy that about scents. And um, I love watching other people's videos. So um, I thank you for watching mine. I hope it's not too long. I hope it's informative. And I hope um, maybe you go out and try. And um, I'll talk to you YouTubers in two weeks soon. All right. Goodbye.